Why does the universe behave the way it does? Why are particles attracted to each other? And how do they interact? The answers to these questions lie in the heart of theoretical physics, more specifically, in quantum chromodynamics. But first, what is quantum chromodynamics? Quantum chromodynamics, or QCD, is the theory of the strong interaction between quarks mediated by particles known as gluons. These quarks are fundamental particles that make up composite hadrons such as the proton, neutron, and pion. QCD forms an integral part of the standard model of particle physics and has been backed by a large body of experimental evidence gathered over the years. The theory of QCD exhibits three salient properties. First, there's color confinement. Because of the steady force between two color charges, the energy grows until a quark-antiquark pair is spontaneously produced. This results in a pair of hadrons rather than isolating a color charge. The second property is asymptotic freedom, discovered in 1973 by David Gross and Frank Wilczek, and independently by David Politzer. This property describes a steady reduction in the strength of interactions between quarks and gluons as the energy scale of those interactions increases. This discovery earned Gross, Wilczek and Politzer the 2004 Nobel Prize in Physics. Lastly, we have chiral symmetry breaking. This property refers to the spontaneous symmetry breaking of an important global symmetry of quarks, resulting in generating masses for hadrons far above the masses of the quarks themselves. Yoichiro Nambu elucidated this phenomenon, earning him the 2008 Nobel Prize in Physics. Now, let's delve a bit into the terminology. The term quark was coined by physicist Murray Gell-Mann, inspired by the phrase, three quarks for muster mark in James Joyce's Finnegan's Wake. The three kinds of charge in QCD, known as color charge, are metaphorically referred to as red, green, and blue. This quantum parameter color has no relation to the everyday phenomenon of color. The force between quarks, known as the color force, is responsible for the nuclear force. Since the theory of electric charge is named electrodynamics, the Greek word for color, chroma, is applied to the theory of color charge, hence chromodynamics. The journey of understanding QCD has been a long one, and there are still unsolved problems in physics related to it. For instance, the equations of QCD remain unsolved at energy scales relevant for describing atomic nuclei. Furthermore, the equations of QCD predict a plasma or soup of quarks under certain conditions, but understanding this quark matter is still a challenge. In conclusion, quantum chromodynamics provides a framework for understanding the strong interaction between quarks mediated by gluons. It has been instrumental in our understanding of the universe and the fundamental particles that make it up. The journey of discovery and understanding is still ongoing, and each step brings us closer to unraveling the mysteries of the universe.